ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 29th day of January. I'm James Spann, and we are getting set for Storm Alert 2009 tonight. About to board the helicopter. Airlink 3340 is cranked up and waiting on us. We'll be in Utah, down in Greene County at Greene County High School. We start at 7. Never done a show in Greene County before. Every year we always try and take it to a new venue. And uh, this is your show, Greene County. So if you live in Utah, Forkland, uh, maybe up in Pickens County, Hale County, Come out and see us. Uh, 7 o'clock is the show time. Uh, there's a look at the next three stops, uh, Trustville, Jasper, Oxford. We have one more, and we will announce the date and the location in the coming week. Sunny, cool day right on target with the uh, temperatures. We forecast a high at 50 today, and looks like we'll settle in right there. Uh, there's our Jasper Sky Cam. That's the Walker County Courthouse. Uh, with a blue sky above. And how about that? Love that shot. That's coming from Mount Chihaw, Alabama's highest mountain just south of Anniston, looking right down the spine of the Talladega Mountains. Water vapor satellite shot, broad trough over the uh, eastern half of the nation. We've got uh, a little short waves going to sharpen that thing up tomorrow and make it turn colder. But it's pretty cool today. Now, these temperatures are as of 11 o'clock this morning. Had to grab the graphics a little early today because of the uh, travel schedule. Uh, but you can see it's pretty cold uh, up north with some spots uh, still below zero at uh, late morning. And these are the 11 a.m. temperatures, still 38 in Birmingham. But again, as of 2 o'clock, we're getting close to 50. We're sitting at 48. So again, uh, warming up to uh, almost seasonal values. Typically, you'd see mid-50s this time of the year. QPF graphic, the expected precipitation for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning. And what's it going to do? That's what everybody's talking about on Monday. Well, it's going to be rain or snow. One way or the other, uh, much of the southeast United States and the eastern half of the nation with rain, snow. And uh, we are not able to draw the rain-snow line yet. It's just too early. Uh, but in terms of liquid, this is suggesting one inch. So you know the deal. One inch of rain, ten inches of snow. What are we going to get? Let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. And you can see how the trough indeed sharpens up. And down below that, the thickness values are considerably lower. The isobars are uh, perpendicular to those thickness lines, so that's cold air advection. Uh, temperatures will struggle to get up in the mid-40s and uh, uh, kind of a raw day, not as pleasant as today with a wind. And then Saturday morning, the surface high should be right over us, so we go down in the low 20s, teens for the valleys. Sunday, uh, we should warm up into the mid to upper 50s. It feel pretty good, but... Again, you can see what's happening with the new surge of cold air to the north and moisture building up to the southwest. Monday, all global models are in agreement. A major storm is going to form. There's the trough supporting it. Very deep, very strong. Let's look at the GFS solution. This is at midday, 12 noon Monday. Uh, the surface low is not too far from Tallahassee. The blue line, that is one potential rain-snow line. That's the freeze line at 5,000 feet. This is suggesting the biggest snow would be from Tupelo to Muscle Shoals to Nashville. Pretty much the same look we showed you this morning. Could that be right? Absolutely. Could it change? Yeah, and it will. Uh, remember, we see four, four global model runs a day, and I am not that interested in the output of each specific run. You take the more ensemble approach and you look at the blend of the last five or six models and it gives you a better idea. By the way, this is uh, 6 o'clock Monday evening. The surface low is near Columbia, South Carolina. The uh, rain snow line is pulled southward and that would suggest a changeover to snow on the backside of the departing storm. Uh, and uh, in this case, that would probably not be enough to, to stir a big fuss, get everybody excited. But uh, again, this would be a rain changing to snow thing before ending instead of a mostly snow thing for us. But remember, this is just one run. This is no forecast. For the, and a lot of new people always watch this video. All I'm doing is talking model output. I'm not forecasting here. We're just looking at it together. We're kind of raising the curtain so you can see what we do back here. Look at the European. This is valid uh, Monday evening at 6 o'clock, and that certainly doesn't suggest snow here with a surface low near Rome, Georgia of all places. So really the GFS and the European no doubt are trending northward, which would mean an increased chance of rain from I-20 south with a changeover to snow on the backside, but no big deal. But you know, tomorrow the whole thing could look different. 
And again, the first look at it, first call we'll make on a forecast will probably be tomorrow afternoon about this time. This is the GFS snow accumulation chart, valid Tuesday morning. This is where snow should be on the ground. And you can see from that big storm, it's got just a dusting really over North Alabama, the better accumulating snow. We're talking one inch or above the darker shades of the purple. That's up on the Alabama-Tennessee state line. The really good snow is northeast of here. Uh, but again, that will probably change tomorrow. It's just too early to call. No need to get disappointed. No need to get excited. Just let's watch it and see. No human being knows at this point. Everybody's got an opinion, but it's too early. Now, Tuesday, the thing bombs out. Uh, surface low well inland over uh, New York. Again, the GFS is definitely farther north and west on this run. But that would be a very, very cold day for us. I mean, we'll be below freezing all day. One way or the other, it's going to be really cold on Tuesday of next week. Maybe a few flurries around in the backwash. And Wednesday would be cold and dry. So that's the latest. Uh, the end of the cycle on uh, the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. Hey, look at the 588 circle over Florida. And a whopper of a trough back over the southwest. And if that's right, we would be very mild and rather warm for this time of the year with a uh, thunderstorm event across the Plain States, but consistency is just not good. The NAO is kind of in neutral territory out here, and it's going to be hard for the GFS to latch on to any specific solution. As we always do, we're just peaking. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on our blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and again, hope to see you tonight. It's Storm Alert 2009 down in Greene County at Utah. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.